Every morning, millions of people around the world reach for their supplement bottles. They take vitamin D3 for bone strength, vitamin K2 for calcium balance, and magnesium for muscle relaxation and energy. Hi, I'm Dr. William Lee. They believe they're protecting themselves, building stronger bones, a healthier heart, and a sharper mind. But here's the truth that's rarely spoken. Taking these three nutrients together without understanding how they interact can slowly and silently throw your body out of balance. These are not just vitamins and minerals. They're biochemical powerhouses that control your calcium flow, nerve signals, and energy production. And when they're taken together at the wrong time or in the wrong way, they can compete, clash, and even cancel each other out. You see, vitamin D3 is not just a supplement, it's a hormone in disguise. It tells your body to absorb calcium from your food. That's good, but D3 doesn't decide where that calcium goes if your system isn't ready. The calcium can end up in places it shouldn't tee, your arteries, kidneys, and soft tissues instead of your bones. That's where vitamin K2 is supposed to help. It acts like a traffic officer for calcium, directing it toward your bones and teeth and away from dangerous buildup in your blood vessels. But even K2 can't do its job alone. It relies on a third nutrient, magnesium, to activate the enzymes that make both D3 and K2 work. Magnesium is the quiet conductor behind this entire trio. It turns vitamin D into its active form. It powers K2's transport systems. It keeps calcium and potassium in perfect balance. But here's the problem. Most people are already deficient in magnesium before they ever start supplementing with D3 and K2. When they take these three together, D3 starts pulling calcium in, K2 tries to move it, and magnesium becomes depleted even faster, leaving the entire process half finished. The result? Fatigue, muscle tightness, poor sleep, joint stiffness, rising blood pressure, or even irregular heart rhythms, symptoms that many dismiss. But they're not random, they're biochemical warning signs. This is not about fear, this is about understanding, the rhythm of your biology. Because the body doesn't work by convenience, it works by sequence. Each nutrient has its time, its place, and its role. When you respect that, they heal you. When you ignore it, they conflict. The truth is, your body doesn't just want supplements. It wants harmony. Let's go deeper. Vitamin D3 increases. Calcium absorption, that's its primary job. But when too much calcium enters the bloodstream too quickly, and there's not enough magnesium or K2 to manage it, problems begin to surface. Imagine pouring more and more water into a system with narrow pipes and weak valves. Something's going to clog. That's what happens biologically. When D3 pushes calcium into the bloodstream faster than your body can direct it, magnesium's role here is critical. Every time D3 activates, it consumes magnesium. Without enough, D3 cannot convert into its usable form, calcitriol. And without active D3, calcium doesn't move properly into bones. The result is high calcium levels in the blood, but low calcium in the bones. A paradox of modern supplementation. Now add K2. It's responsible for activating two special proteins. Osteocalcin, which helps deposit calcium into bone tissue, matrix GLA protein MGP, which prevents calcium from hardening the arteries, both of these proteins are magnesium dependent, so even if you're taking D3 and K2 together, they won't work as intended if magnesium is missing or, or low. That's why so many people who start high-dose D3 routines end up feeling worse after a few months, not because D3 is bad, but because it's draining their magnesium supply. They start with more energy, then slowly experience fatigue, tension, or even anxiety. This biochemical chain reaction shows us something powerful. Supplements are not isolated. They're interlinked systems. Every nutrient triggers, supports, or depends on another. Taking D3, K2, and magnesium together without proper timing means you are throwing three biological levers at once, hoping they all move in sync. But if one lever, magnesium, doesn't move fast enough, the whole mechanism misfires. And here's the hidden danger. These imbalances don't show up overnight. They build slowly. Calcium deposits develop over time, arteries stiffen quietly, energy fades gradually. You don't feel sick, you just feel off. That's the warning sign your body whispers before it starts shouting. The solution isn't to stop taking these nutrients, it's to take them intelligently. Most people swallow all three at once, 
because that's what supplement labels suggest. But biology doesn't work that way. The human body runs on rhythm, circadian timing, digestive timing, and enzymatic timing. When you align with that rhythm, your nutrients work with you, not against you. Vitamin D3 and K2 are fat-soluble vitamins. They're best absorbed with your largest meal of the day. Ideally, one that includes healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, or fish. Taking them in the morning or midday aligns with your body's natural daylight cycle. When D3 synthesis naturally occurs from sunlight, magnesium, on the other hand, is different. It's not fat-soluble. It's a mineral that supports more than 300 enzyme systems, including those responsible for energy and relaxation. Taking it with D3 can actually compete for absorption. Worse, it may reduce the fat absorption needed for D3 and K2 to work efficiently. That's why magnesium should be taken separately, preferably in the evening. It helps relax your muscles, calm your nervous system, and prepare your body for rest. This timing also allows magnesium to restore what D3 and K2 use during the day, maintaining balance overnight. Think of it like building a house. D3 is the architect. It brings in the materials. K2 is the engineer. It directs where they go. Magnesium is the builder. It makes sure everything fits perfectly. You wouldn't want all three. Showing up at the job site at once, uncoordinated. You want each to arrive when it's their time to work. When taken correctly, this combination strengthens bones, supports your heart, improves energy, and stabilizes mood. But when taken together carelessly, it leads to the opposite. Poor absorption, stress, and internal confusion. Your body isn't a machine that thrives on multitasking. It thrives on rhythm, sequence, and respect. When D3, K2, and magnesium are taken together incorrectly, the signs don't scream, they whisper, you might notice restless sleep, morning stiffness, muscle twitching, or a sudden rise in blood pressure you may experience irregular. Heartbeats, anxiety, or brain fog that seems to come and go, these are subtle markers of imbalance. Early warnings that your body's mineral system is overworked. D3 is pulling more calcium than your system can regulate. Magnesium reserves are shrinking. K2 can't activate its proteins. Even your digestion and mood can shift. Low magnesium affects serotonin production, the chemical that regulates happiness and calm. Meanwhile, unbalanced calcium can overactivate nerve cells, leaving you feeling wired but tired. Long term, this imbalance can lead to calcification, not just in arteries, but also in soft tissues, kidneys, and joints. It's a slow, silent process that takes years to reveal itself. But it starts with the same mistake taking powerful nutrients together without understanding their synergy. Your body always gives clues. It never stays silent. The problem is most people ignore the whispers until they become shouts by separating these supplements, testing your nutrient levels, and adjusting dosages gradually. You can prevent years of silent damage. Health is not built on how much you take. It's built on how wisely you take it. If you're taking D3, K2, and magnesium together, don't panic. But do pause, rethink how you're supporting your body. Start by testing your vitamin D and magnesium levels. If your magnesium is low, and for most adults it is, replenish that first. Build a strong foundation before adding D3 and K2. Take D3 and K2 earlier in the day with a meal that contains healthy fats. Allow them to work together in the daylight hours when your metabolism is most active. Then take magnesium in the evening. Let it calm your nervous system. Relax your muscles and restore what D3 and K2 use throughout the day. Stay hydrated. Eat whole foods rich in natural minerals, leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and legumes. These provide the cofactors your supplements can't. Remember, the goal isn't to take more, it's to take smarter. Your body is a masterpiece of timing and design. Every system, every enzyme, every heartbeat follows a rhythm. When you align with that rhythm, health becomes effortless. When you fight it, imbalance follows. So before you take another capsule, ask yourself, are you supporting your biology or confusing it? D3, K2, and magnesium are not enemies, they're allies. But only when given respect, sequence, and understanding, true health doesn't come from combining everything at once. It comes from learning how your body truly works and listening when it speaks, because the real miracle isn't in the supplement. The miracle is you, your body's ability to heal, adapt, and thrive 
when you give it the right conditions. So pause, rethink your routine, rebuild your rhythm, and let your body do what it was designed to do, balance itself naturally. For years, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and magnesium have been hailed as the holy trinity of modern nutrition, a trio that promises stronger bones, better heart health, sharper thinking, and improved immunity. People have filled their cabinets with bottles of each, taking them together every morning with complete faith that they're doing the right thing for their body. But what if this perfect combination, the one praised across countless health forums, is not as harmless as it seems? What if taking them together, without understanding how they truly interact, is slowly setting your body up for imbalance, depletion, or even silent organ strain? The truth is simple, yet deeply unsettling. These three nutrients, though powerful and essential, do not always play well together when taken in the wrong form, at the wrong time, or in the wrong ratio. It's not about whether you should take them. It's about how your body processes them, how they compete, and what happens behind the scenes when the balance tips even slightly out of order. Imagine your metabolism as an intricate orchestra. Every mineral, every vitamin, every enzyme playing its role in harmony. Vitamin D3 conducts calcium into your bloodstream. Vitamin K2 directs that calcium into your bones and away from your arteries. And magnesium ensures the conductor itself keeps time by regulating hundreds of cellular reactions. But what happens when the timing goes off? When D3 floods the system, K2 can't keep up, or magnesium gets drained in the process. The music turns to noise, the harmony collapses. What was once a symphony for health becomes a quiet chaos your body struggles to control. The reason this happens is not magic, and it's not mystery, it's physiology. Vitamin D3 on its own increases calcium absorption from your diet. That's one of its main jobs. But when calcium levels rise too fast and vitamin K2 isn't present in adequate amounts, that calcium doesn't always end up where it should instead of strengthening bones and teeth. It may deposit in soft tissues, arteries, kidneys, joints, places where calcium does not belong. Now K2 is meant to counter this, guiding calcium out of danger zones and into skeletal tissue. However, even K2 depends on magnesium to activate the enzymes that perform that very function. So, if magnesium is low, or worse, completely depleted because of excessive D3 supplementation, that elegant system collapses and the body is left confused about what to do with all that extra calcium. And here lies the silent trap. Most people taking D3 today are deficient in magnesium without even realizing it. Studies show that up to 70% of adults have suboptimal magnesium levels. The very supplement that's supposed to enhance health ends up draining the mineral that's needed to make it safe. Vitamin D3, when taken consistently, increases the body's need for magnesium because magnesium is required to convert D3 into its active form, calcitriol. Without that conversion, vitamin D remains in storage, unusable, and potentially toxic over time. Your blood tests might show high D levels, but your cells could still be starving for its usable form. Meanwhile, your magnesium reserves, used for over 300 biochemical processes, are being depleted faster than you can replace them. Fatigue creeps in, sleep worsens, muscle twitches or cramps appear. Anxiety feels heavier. Heart rhythm changes become noticeable. And most people never connect the dots between these symptoms and their supplement habits. They believe the fatigue is from stress, the cramps from dehydration, the heart palpitations from caffeine, when in truth, their body is waving red flags that it's out of balance. But the imbalance doesn't stop there. Once magnesium runs low, vitamin K2 can't fully perform its role either. K2 depends on certain magnesium-activated proteins, specifically matrix GLA proteins, to bind and remove calcium from arterial walls. Without enough magnesium, these proteins remain inactive. The result? Calcium that should have been locked into bone instead lingers in the bloodstream and may gradually harden arteries. It's a process so subtle it can take years before showing symptoms. But by then, it's already taken a toll on your cardiovascular health. This is why blindly combining D3, K2, and magnesium, without understanding their timing, dosage, and individual needs, can backfire. Supplements that are meant to protect your bones and arteries can, paradoxically, end up weakening them if you don't support the underlying system that controls how they work. The irony is painful. 
the same people trying to prevent bone loss or cardiovascular disease could, unknowingly, be setting the stage for both, not because these nutrients are harmful, but because the body's chemistry demands precision. Taking more isn't better, taking them together isn't always safer. Balance, not abundance, is what sustains life. Now consider what happens when someone already has low magnesium, which is increasingly common due to stress, processed foods, caffeine, and medications that drain it further. If such a person begins supplementing high-dose vitamin D3, they accelerate magnesium depletion dramatically. D3 upregulates calcium and phosphate absorption, both of which require magnesium for proper utilization. As the body scrambles to keep up, it steals magnesium from muscles, the heart, and the brain. Over time, that deficiency affects mood, sleep, blood pressure, and nerve function. You might feel wired but tired, restless yet exhausted. A biochemical imbalance your body cannot correct on its own. Adding K2 at this stage may help redistribute calcium, but only if the magnesium foundation is strong enough. Otherwise, it's like trying to direct traffic without enough police officers on duty. Confusion, chaos, and buildup follow. The calcium continues to circulate while the body's energy systems, dependent on magnesium, start to falter. This cascade is why timing and sequence matter more than most realize. The body doesn't absorb or use all three nutrients at once. Each has its own rhythm. D3 peaks in your bloodstream hours after ingestion. Magnesium is used steadily throughout the day. K2 activates proteins over a longer window of time. Taking all three simultaneously can overload certain metabolic pathways, especially in those with low baseline magnesium or compromised kidney function. There's also the question of form. Not all D3, K2, or magnesium supplements are created equal. Some forms of magnesium, like oxide, have low bioavailability and can cause digestive issues. Others, like glycinate or malate, are gentler and more easily absorbed. The same goes for K2. The MK7 form lasts longer in the body than MK4, which dissipates quickly. The choice of form determines how long each nutrient stays active and how they overlap in your system. When the forms don't align, the body experiences bursts of imbalance peaks of calcium absorption without sufficient cofactors to handle them. And yet, none of this is explained on supplement labels. You won't find warnings about nutrient interactions or reminders to check your magnesium levels before increasing D3 dosage. Marketing tells you that these nutrients work better together, but leaves out the critical detail. Only when the body is ready for them to work together. The deeper truth is that these nutrients form a hierarchy. Magnesium is the base, K2 is the guide, D3 is the trigger. If you strengthen the base first, restoring magnesium reserves through diet and supplementation, then introduce D3 and K2. In the right order, the system works beautifully. Calcium moves where it should, energy production rises, inflammation calms, and bones strengthen naturally. But when the sequence is reversed, when D3 is taken before the body has enough magnesium, that hierarchy collapses. Your body isn't a chemistry lab, it's a living, adaptive ecosystem. It thrives on rhythm, not force. And when that rhythm is disrupted, when we bombard it with multiple supplements without understanding the underlying dance of minerals, we trade short-term benefits for long-term imbalance. The warning isn't to stop taking D3, K2, or magnesium altogether, but to respect how they function together. Each has a role, a responsibility, and a limit. So before you swallow that next combination pill or scoop of powder, pause for a moment and ask yourself, is my body truly ready to handle this? Have I built the foundation or am I skipping straight to the top? Health isn't about how many supplements you take, it's about how well your body integrates them. This is the truth that few supplement companies will ever tell you. It's not profitable to remind you that balance can't be bottled, but the body always remembers the truth. It responds not to promises or labels, but to harmony, the precise balance of nutrients, minerals, and timing that sustain life from the inside out. When you understand this, you'll stop seeing D3, K2, and magnesium as magic pills and start viewing them as tools, tools that can either rebuild or destabilize depending on how you use them. The difference between healing and harm isn't the supplement itself, it's the wisdom behind how it's taken.